guys we need to stop being delusional as south africans and accept reality for what it is i know <clears throat> you want to be in denial so much you don't want to believe that the economy in south africa might be run by foreigners and foreigners i'm not just talking about the popular uh, type of people you hate our african brothers and sisters the ones whom i support because of pan-africanism and those are not just the only foreigners i'm talking about you are being misled you don't understand what i'm talking about i'm not just talking about nigerians who own salute as Zimbabweans who are selling in the streets, Namibians, Abomwanango. I'm not just talking about Abu Mozambique and who are building your houses back at home. The Zimbabwean guys, the guys from Maputo, who build your houses back at home. But because uh, you want to come across as a patriot, you won't admit, most of you guys, your parents' houses or your own houses were built by Zimbabweans, a Makaya, in Limpopo, wherever. I'm not just talking about those. I'm including even Indians who are owning big businesses, who are owning, who are franchising big shops in big malls. I'm talking about real, real people, the Jewish people who are owning majority of the banking systems, the banking companies in South Africa. Jewish people are foreigners to South Africa. South Africans. You trying to tell me there's Jewish people who can claim South Africa is theirs and they are African Jewish. The same Jewish people who are owning banks. Come on. So even those are included in this. Chinese foreigners who the government hires to build infrastructure sometimes. And infrastructure not just talking about bridges. To build I'm a warehouses where they have the latest technology. It's foreigners too. Most of the favorite brands you like to wear, those businesses are owned by foreigners. People who are not South African blood. Put in your favorite stores, your luxury stores, in your favorite malls. You buy foreign clothes. Then we'll take the money out of South Africa. You buy luxury clothes, you don't even know that money is going outside of South Africa. It's not reinvesting in South Africa. It's going out. Spend about 200k that are going out of South Africa. Because you know why? Those shops are not owned by South Africans. Those franchises are not franchised by majority South Africans. Your favorite politicians, they won't tell you that. They won't tell you the, the economy of South Africa. For most of our people to get jobs in the private sector, working in companies, Emma Mall, retails, selling clothes, selling food, they are working because of foreigners, because of Jewish foreigners, because of Indian foreigners, because of white European foreigners. They won't tell you that your favorite politicians. They won't tell you that. They will make you believe the economy is run by South Africans. How many South Africans own big shops in retail, in the malls, who are hiring South Africans in majority, young youth South Africans to go there and work there? How many South Africans are doing that? It's not a lot. Don't be delusional. You are lying to yourself. So me, I don't like people who like to lie. Because lies, lies are smelling. They're no manga. So we need to be honest with each other. There's nothing wrong admitting that foreigners are keeping the economy of South Africa running. Most of the people who you are told it's business, it's the market. Most of these markets whom were dictating how the politics and the negotiations should be going. Your favorite politicians won't tell you. Some of these people are foreigners. Foreign investment, having vested interest in our country, investing through business, investing through money, investing through 
how they control the politics. They won't tell you most of those people are foreigners. Bloodlines that are not coming directly from South Africa. What I mean is that it's not people of Ntu. It's not people like us, black people, native South Africans. There are bloodlines, some of them, come from outside of Africa, not just South Africa, Africa, Europe, China, India, Russia, America, dictating how the economy should go. And you don't even know that because your favorite politicians, they won't expose that to you. They want you to believe you are the best thing to ever happen. Best thing to ever happen, but you remain broke. You remain poor. You are the best thing to ever happen. Come on, man. They're not running shit. They're not doing anything. You can't even compete with what these people have invested in this economy. These same foreigners you want to chase. If they all go, don't tell me about black African foreigners. I'm talking about all foreigners in South Africa. If they all go, your girlfriend will lose a job. Lampa is on that retail store she works at. Your uncle will lose a job being a manager, managing that retail store at Eastgate Mall. Don't know. Because the education you are lacking, don't understand how the world works. You think everyone who's here in South Africa, all these white people, all these Indian people, all these people are South Africans, born South Africans. Some of them are here because they have visas, business visas, investment visas, because they are investing business, but they are still foreigners. You don't know. Your fellow politicians won't give you that education. Then you want to hate me for telling you this. Hey, I'm not a patriot enough. I don't care about being a patriot. I'm not trying to be a patriot. I'm not trying to be the number one face of patriotism. I know what I do in real life. I know the people I know, the people who are starving. They know what I do for them. They, I know what I'm capable of doing. So I don't need validation from media or online telling me how much of a patriot I am. I'm not trying to be the biggest patriot. I don't care about that. I speak the truth, the honest truth. That's the truest patriot you can ever be. Living in truth and living in honesty. Patriots don't lie to each other, deceive each other for them to live in a false reality, to believe that something they're not. That's not what patriots do. Patriots face the reality they are in and live in the reality they are in. Not a false vision of reality. You think you're a patriot because somehow and you can bullish it him. What patriot are you? Come on, man. But it is what it is. Thank you very much.